Hey guys, what's happening? Sam the 30 broken out you and happy homebrew Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday. March it's Tuesday. Happy St. Patrick's Day, by the way. And I see a problem. Houston, we have a problem. This is Houston, we have a problem part two. Give me one minute. I'm gonna fill this gem up. Yeah, it's not a stout, but this is my freezer burn IP. It's got a little clear, so keg's getting ready to kick. Which brings me to this. This is the uh, dark and stormy ginger beer that I've been working on for a while. In my previous video, um, one of my previous videos, I should say, yeah, beverage line is clogged. So what I have to do is uh, unclog it. I want to thank everybody. I want to thank Brad. I want to thank uh, Dan. I want to thank Kevin Clements. And those guys for chiming in on my uh, Houston. We have a problem. Previous video, they give me some ideas on how to clear the beverage tube. Now. I'm going to take the easy way out, I think. Now, the only problem with this is that I run a huge risk in oxidizing what's in here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to purge um, the keg with a pick on the gas side. I'm going to pop everything off, and then I'm going to rack everything into a firm, uh, sanitized bucket. Then I'm going to pull off the beverage tube, clean it out. Clean out the keg, rinse it out, re-sanitize, and then re-rack everything back into the keg and re-pressurize it. So, wish me luck. Here we go. Cheers, by the way. Just got my little pick here. I'm just going to pop in the poppet on the gas side. At least we know the seal's good on the... Uh, keg there. Now we can release that. Now before I open up this lid, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to unscrew the beverage side here because I don't have a lot of friggin' tools. I don't have an exact fit for this. We're just going to use the old vicey grips and see how we do. I'm going to leave that on just so I can minimize any sort of... Oh, you son of a dick. You don't like that, do you? No, you do not. Okay, pliers it is. Remember how this thing goes on. It comes this way. You can tell this fits exactly because there we are. <laughs> Someone sing me a song. This is where Tom usually sings to me. I actually just won't get enough of a grab on that. I can't believe it's friggin' St. Patrick's Day. Can't believe I pulled this move, but you know what? Shit, it happens. What are you gonna do? Onto there. There we go. There we go. Now hopefully I should just be able to spin that off. It's amazing just how friggin' nasty it becomes. <laughs> you think about it though, you got a liquid that's infused with. isn't it? Yeah, I need to purge that some more. I need a bucket. Alright, so this little thing goes. Clean bucket, I'm going to re-sterilize the poppet and all that lovely jazz. Yep, and there's our fucking problem right there. Look at that. There's the problem. It's like a giant booger. So the pop it's clear now. The downside is, is that I know that if I don't do this, I'm gonna run into this problem again. Here's the old dip tube. Clear. Okay, so that's failing miserably. Miserably. So, what I think I may do, because it's so carbonated, I can't get enough vacuum off of the uh, siphon to get it into place. So, what I think I'm going to have to do, unfortunately, is uh, just reinstall the poppet. I don't want to see, I don't want to okay, it in. finally got the siphon started. Using the lips, unfortunately. 
So yeah, I did sanitize the hose after I put it in there. But flowing pretty clear. I'm just pissed this happened. So we're racking away with the sanitized bucket and then we'll cover that up, clean that out, put everything back together, rack back in, recarb it and see how we do. But I know it's just I'm not gonna be happy. It's very sad. But the color on it actually looks really, really good. Really, really good. It's just not siphoning. And I'm not gonna keep risking contaminating the beer. I mean, I've only been able to get five liters out and I've never, ever, ever, ever dumped a beer before until today. So unfortunately, I have learned a very valuable lesson. Very valuable lesson. Never put free floating items into a keg. Ever. So I gotta finish this off. And because I'm not saving this now. I'll show you how she looked. Oh, what a friggin' waste. Oh, I'm so frustrated. So that's how she looks. And try a taste. See how she tasted. Okay. Okay. Next time for sure, we'll do a uh, a racking onto uh, some candied ginger and do like a dry hop sort of thing. But we'll call this one lesson learned. <laughs>